Sense. Again, it's a real shock to our soul. We believe that we have to have an extra soul on the Shabbat and when it leaves. There's a certain despondency against losing something so special. It's always good to have a song that has a little power to it and joy to it. The words mean, he who makes a distinction between the sacred and the mundane, our sins he will forgive. Our seed and our wealth Will he increase like the sand of the sea and like the stars of the night? The day is gone like the shade of a palm. I call to the Almighty who fulfills me. Said the watchman, morning came and also light. You know, this is a prayer that is recited after the Shabbat leaves and after we recite the Habdallah, the prayer that separates between the regular week and the Shabbat or the holidays. There are different opinions to its origin. There are those who have a custom to recite this prayer only after the Shabbat and holidays. And it would seem that this prayer was originally recited only on Yom Kippur, uh, during the Ne'ilah prayer on Yom Kippur, again, the holiest of all prayers. And uh, the Chassam Sofer would actually recite this, these words after every Shabbat. And there's a story told of Moshe of Sasov, he, there was a young boy who had gone away from Yiddishkeit, from Judaism. He was no longer observant. And Ramosha called him after a Shabbat. And he sat down and he sang the song to him, said these words to him. And somehow, this wayward boy, this wayward son, returned back to God once again. So in this Abdullah song, we acknowledge that it is God who has made a distinction between that which is holy and that which is mundane. And that he will increase our children and our wealth. You know, it's interesting that children are mentioned before wealth. You know, in the secular world, many people have children only after they've become financially solid, after they become wealthy. We see here that's not the case. That first children are mentioned and then wealth. We put our faith in God and that if God will take care of all of our needs, and when one places their faith in God, then their blessings will be as numerous as the sands of the sea and the stars of the heaven. And in the morning, in the morning, in the end, everything will be good. As we know that if it's not good, then we know it's not the end.
God bless. Be well.